Story time with Aunt Phil, virtually on location this week for another Alaska history lesson. Yeah, author Laurel Downeville joins us from the oil fields where on this day in 1977, history is made. Right, Laurel? On August 1st, 1977, the first load of Prudhoe Bay oil on the tanker Arco Juno left Valdez and headed down to the lower 48. The story of Alaska's oil goes way back though, before that. More than a hundred years ago, yeah, the um, Associated Press reported that prospectors had found a huge lake of oil in the Klondike Gold Rush region. But um, the report also said that that black goo would take care of the uh, future oil needs for all of the world into the foreseeable future. But it took about, oh gosh, more than 60 years for that to come true. Um, oil companies pounded holes into the frozen tundra, more than 100 of them trying to find commercial quantities of oil. Um, the first one was in 1957 along the Swanson River on the Kenai Peninsula, and then it wasn't long before we actually had oil pumped out of the Kenai Peninsula and Cook Inlet. And then 10 years later, a big and very secret discovery is made that would, I mean, it would change Alaska forever. The Atlantic Richfield Company discovered a huge source of oil on Prudhoe Bay, but they didn't want anyone to really know about it. So they reported early in 1968 that they had found a, a substantial sum of oil, but they kind of downplayed it. Uh, before that discovery, they were sharing information across the radio, but as soon as they made that oil discovery in Prudhoe Bay, they started flying geologists more than 1,000 thousand miles round trip every day to Fairbanks to talk on the telephone on secure lines and then BP actually um, created a different method they hired two Welsh geologists and they put one at Prudhoe Bay one down in Anchorage and they communicated in their native language so nobody could understand what they were saying so that would lead us eventually to the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. Yeah, it took us several years for that to happen though because first you had to have politicians and the Alaska Native people working together along with oil companies to decide who owned what land so they could build the pipeline. And then you had your engineers and construction people and environmentalists trying to decide how to do it without hurting the environment and making it so that you wouldn't have big oil spills. And then of course you had to have the oil companies learn to work together so that they only built one pipeline. And so the first oil actually started down the pipeline in 1977. So since then, just about how much oil has flowed through that pipeline to this day? More than 17 billion barrels. So much of it, and of course, used to help fund government, fund our state, more then than now, but that's a different story for a different time.